Hey everyone, it's Rose Crystal, and I'm back with another Dong and Rock with Sugar Happy Havoc episode. Last time we did the second class trial, and well, Mondo was found guilty and was executed. And well, after Taka's bizarre reaction to the execution, we don't really know what's become of him, really. But that's not what the main concern is right now. What the main concern is is who's talking to us. And without any further ado, let's begin. <sighs> oh, hi there. I know I shouldn't cry, but I've had enough. I can't take it anymore. Don't give up. Getting out of here anytime soon? It's impossible. I can't let myself think about how much I want to get out of here. If I keep thinking like that, I might decide to... Don't kill. It's not worth it. For yourself and this game. Donuts. I need to eat some donuts. That'll cheer me up. Glazed donuts, twisty donuts, jelly donuts, cream filled donut holes. Maladasses. Okay. Oh god of donuts, I'm praying for a wonderful encounter. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please. Forgive me for breaking the nighttime rule. But right now for me, donuts are absolutely necessary. What the heck? Huh? 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 What's that sound? Hmm. Sounds like it's coming from the bathhouse. But I'm super scared, but is is someone there? <laughs> Chill! Dude, it's been a while. How's life treating ya? Okay, Chihiro's here, what the heck? The morning after the conclusion of the second class trial. Everyone met up in the dining hall, just like always. I expected to start like any other day. That's what I expected, but... <sighs> Today's count kinda of sucks, huh? Toko and Biaki are still a few to show up. Um... I haven't seen Miss Asahina anyway. Hmm. She said her stomach was hurting, she was even easier than her today. Oh! That, that's rather usual for her. Normally she is so full of energy. Mm. Which is definitely makes you worry. So then. So she's a seven of us then, huh? It looks that way. How about that? It's time like this is a committee chairman needs to get things going up with a bang. Oh no. I don't blame him for going catatonic after seeing what he saw. Impossible. Or not? Maka hasn't said a word since everything that happened yesterday. One look at his face. Show the evidence of the being last night. Must be because of Mondo. The two of them became so close, and then he finds out Mondo killed the hero. And then having to watch Mondo get punished. There's nothing he could do about it. I can't imagine what it must have done to him. Well, so I know what's gonna happen now. We haven't found any now. We have no idea how it's ever gonna come. <laughs> it's like now I'm all depressed just thinking about it. <laughs> I'm glad to make the best of things. Do our best to get along and work with everyone else. Okay, like that said, well, it's up to your life. That is the only hope you have now. What? To live here forever? Well, here we have every convenience, you have food, clothes, whatever you need to see to. Why are you dissatisfied? <sighs> In fact, let me ask you this. What is it about the outside world that you long for? Is that okay? Competition, discrimination, victimization, and violence. Society grows, so does its preservation. In which case, is our current situation not... <laughs> Demon, angel, pretty, punchy princess! Huh? Here we go! Maggie, the drill shop, shop owner, the funny-eared Amazon, cat girl, dog boy, robot, just the thing, and, and... <laughs> what I mean is, there's no 2D here! There is nothing to be done. The mastermind puts such base desire to their advantage, bending it to their will. You know? Okay, well, since, like, Jack has got catatonic. Hmm. As the oldest one here, I'm officially stepping up to take the lead. Oh, I forgot he's 21 years old. <laughs> so, we're all gonna move together and spend the rest of the day searching the school. Searching? I'm right, right? 
the class trial is over, I hope. Perhaps. There should be no place for us to investigate. Hmm. Yeah, that's a ticket. Maybe we'll find some kind of clue this time. Well, then. And once we're done eating, let's let them begin looking around. Get me wrong with that, Celeste? <laughs> mm, there may be a lot of discovery waiting for us when we get further and richer our life here. Um. Uh, no, the point is to look for clues. And this fear started to come together. She barged in and ruined the conversation. You called for me, and so I appear! What? Nobody called for you. Uh, um... What the fuck am I should have said Jill or not Toko? Yes! God, this place is just amazing. Finding a place I can be my murder self. That's why I decided to stop holding back and spread my wings. No more hiding in a cave for me. Uh -huh. Plus, I have another battle to fight. The whole killer with the split personality thing is so overdone. I gotta destroy the stereotype. You SOB! I'll fight all day and all night to murder those poorly slander cliches! Uh, um... But you are a killer with split personality. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't here. My chance of survival would go up at least 10%. Uh -huh. Come on, you gotta back me up here. Even the biggest stars need the little people to hold them up. Well, whatever we also do today, first we should eat. You can't do anything on your stomach. You're right, let's start up and and start our investigation. <laughs> I'm gonna love this girl too much. So we are forced to eat breakfast with the murderer, and after a very much but very annoying meal, we set to work looking around the school. Okay, let's go. Okay, exit is the R key. Uh, can I walk with the control panel? Yes, you can. Um, it's gonna be a little difficult walk walking through the school life with this, but I'm gonna do my best. Okay, so... I'm still gonna learn how to do these controls, I swear. I'll, I'll get used to them eventually, but it's gonna take a while. Sorry about my throw, I just got back from a performance today. The third floor of Hope Seek Academy. I wonder what we're gonna find this time. What's up here? Dang, I'm loving the fact that this has a heck ton of computer space and I can do a lot more. Hmm, so this is... Let's see... I've read the rec... Uh, uh, I cannot read today. A recreation room. The place seems to come in the max. I never been in a school on a place like this. <laughs> well, no normal school like this. Othello, Shoji, even a dark one with blue table. And look at this. They have even provided some marble number of magazines. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah, it was just really helpful in keeping our boredom at bay. Listen up! Ring, ring, ring! Hello there, mommy just found! We got fashion, motorcycles, more cars, video games, baseball, science, all kinds of magazines. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Oh, but nothing dirty. It's the school after all. We need a quick fix. Check out the suit nice. So then. Lay back in our collection and see what she's come out. Too bad! Sorry, no can do. I think I want to right now. Magazines are kinda. kinda what? On the dirty side, I think? Watch out! Oops! Nothing. No, never mind. No, no, no. Well, anyway, that's it for my expectations. Bye bye! <laughs> what he just said. I know, right? It bothers me too. Most unfortunate. Life here would be that much easier if we could add some new issues once in a while. How disappointing. Really? Yeah, she doesn't care. That's why she just wants to live here. It would seem. So the third floor opened up this time. After a brief investigation, it's a physics lab and an art room. <sighs> I also found a huge machine of some sort in the physics lab. I wonder what it does. First glance, it's like any normal art room. But something about it seems off, or multiple somethings. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, well, look at all this equipment. It certainly catches the artistic age of mine. Art supplies, of course, but also collected some kind of sculpting tool. <laughs> so, Ifumi, do you like sculptures and figurines and stuff? Yes, indeed. Well, not really, it's not 2D, but figurines are like borderline 2D, so it's okay. I don't know how that's borderline, but. Okay. <laughs> I'm a fan of Charbonneau, Pumpkinhead, and especially in my reading that Sabanero Lava Johnny I have no idea how to say that. 
Charmer's ability to access the movement of muscles is exquisite, as seen as his mama guide series. Puffin has like a little sculpture fairy, living the century's greatest quality. Sabanero Rapajani, I don't know how to say that. Meanwhile, it's known for the Mecha Muzim Muzume series. Let's do a worldwide tour. Puffin is regarded as the elite four. But one of your elite is missing. No, no, no. the elite three just sounds stupid now, doesn't it? Yes, indeed. At least it belongs to me. <laughs> Maybe can't stay in the rain. Because I raised the nerve. Well, I cannot read today. Mm -hmm. It begins. It begins my reign as my legendary ruler of the next century. I see. Well, good luck with that. Uh. How do I turn the camera? Uh. How do I, uh. Change view left A key? There we go. Is this a statue of Monokuma? Who would ever want to make something like this? Monokuma? Still, the quality is surprising. Oh, nice. Oh, what's that? Hold up, before we go checking anything else in this room, it's the repository that's attached to the art room. It's used for different arts of things. I want to see this room. What the heck? There's something on the floor. It looks like a picture. But as I stretch my hand to pick it up, almost as if it's on almost as if it's on I cannot read. Forgive me, I am tired. Almost as if on its own, my hand froze. Huh? What I saw in the picture was Chihiro, Leon, and Mondo. And they were smiling. Okay, that's odd. What is this? Why should I raise my head one after the other? Why is it only these three people? What are they doing together? How come they're smiling like that? When was it taken? Who took it? Where's the camera? Why did they get it for us? I the window in the classroom. There's no metal cover here. It's just me. Wherever this picture was taken, it wasn't here. Who was it? There's nothing to find an answer. All the questions came when I were quickly drawn out by. That's mine! Give it back! When I appeared out of nowhere and snatched a photo, and any chance I tried to answer is evaporated. Ha! You peeked, didn't you? Well, I saw the pretty dazzling smiles, huh? Isn't that wonderful? They were definitely living their school life. But they were prepared right out of the book of you. I want that picture, you know? <laughs> I'm not telling you nothing! Why can't you give me a straight answer? Never mind. I don't know why I bothered asking. Well, I mean, he technically did give you a straight answer. He said, I ain't telling you nothing. That was a straight answer, Makoto. Anywho, let's get back to what we were doing. Which that means bring up the map here. And uh Oh, he's here. I was checking to see if my face cam was on and I saw the white dot, so I'm like, oh, okay. This is the physics lab. It's less like a classroom, more like a research institute. Aw, uh, dang, he's here too. I don't think he's gonna say much. Hey, Taka, do you think this place is like some kind of research institute? A low reaction. What's up with this ridiculously big machine? Watch out! What, you want to do some quantum leaping? Huh? Here! That's a time machine! Pretty awesome, right? You found my student right here at his peak. The ultimate physics. The ultimate physics. Can't be ultimate physics. Psychologicus? No? No, that's not it. The ultimate. You know what? The point is, journal. Oh, they don't go in here anymore. They died during the tragedy. Been there, leaving your pizza bagel in the microwave for one minute too long. One minute? 
Wawa? Wow, wow. We sound disappointed. Hmm. But actually, I was lying about the whole thing anyway. It's not as big as time machines. What? Aww, that's, that's, that's mean. He's already suffering. Don't do that. Actually, you know what? I shouldn't even have that reaction anyway. It's Monokuma. Hey, Honestly, um... Just an air purifier. Air purifier? In other words... I can be cleaner no matter where you're at. I think you need to move on cars. You guys! Anyway, this machine is the reason why my wall is delicious and so don't go messing with it. You break it and it's your This huge thing is just an air purifier? And more than that. I feel so bad for him. So go on your way to say something you'll know we've already hurt someone who's already suffering. Gosh dang you! Oh, that's so mean. That's so mean. He says the appendant room. It's super disorganized. There's a strange chemical smell in here. What are you talking about? It looks clean as heck in here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This place is so relaxing, so calming. The smell of bohamolite is almost unbearable. I'm getting seriously excited! Oh, dang! Uh -huh. I'm trying to dunk myself right in it. That'd actually be a pretty bad idea, don't do that. Of course, Genocide Jack likes it. That would show how disgusting it really is. Okay, let's let let's leave before she dunks us in for home for a long time. Or whatever it's pronounced. I cannot speak today. Better look around a bit more. Why will we look around, you may ask? Because there's something right here. Oh, this is it's a digital camera, it's not some kind of weird anime style design. It's kind of beat up, it looks like a paragon of smile. Yeah, but it still works, I'll show you this later. Hmm. I discovered lots of stuff and it's all strange, but I don't know if the details actually work. It's getting more confused. Let me check back to the dining room and talk about it there more now. For now, I've checked the dining room. When I got back to the dining hall, the first thing I noticed was. Ah! Ah! Tina? I tried to talk to her, but my voice immediately dropped out by the other since we got to the other time. Tina? Huh? Oh, I thought she was sick or something. Everyone rushed past me and crowded around Tina. Are you surrounded by everyone like that? Tina looked really uncomfortable. Tina? Are you feeling better already? <laughs> yeah, I ate a few donuts and that really helped a lot. You found those donuts. Hmm. Was it your stomach that was hurting? Well... My stomach kind of made me hungry, so you know. I guess my memory's kind of fuzzy lately. Hmm. They say that a goldfish will eat however much food you get, but even if it's not the worst. Hmm. 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 Miss Asahina is pretty much the same, it looks like. Just a second! Hey, you of all people got a big room to talk. Sorry, he threw me, but she wins. Well. Anyway, I was worried about you. Sorry. Besides that, you. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Jeez, your knockers are huge! What the heck? You can listen to double up on milk production? Why did I just read that? Bastard! Stay away from our fiends! Uh, um... Anyway, first things first, we should talk about what we found, right? Taka? Dude, he's not gonna talk. Mm. Yeah, let, 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 let's just talk to everyone and see what they found. Mm. Oh, I just remember, I saw Byaku a little while ago. Uh, what? You SOB! Where? Where was he? What? What? It kinda of scaring me. Uh, Where was he? He was in the locker room, a huge stack of books and his stuff from the library. No, 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 no! So that's where he was hiding. I won't let him get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> huh? She just ran off. Oh, yeah, she did. Oh, is... Is she okay? No, she's the furthest from okay. <laughs> she's not concerned herself with her. Hmm. No use. Hmm. I searched the entire third floor, but all the windows and the halls and rooms are blocked off. Yeah. I wish I could give us the rest of it. Serious, give him back my bright blue skies. <laughs> Just forget about it. Impossible. Make it sound like I dropped a nickel or something. <laughs> Just be sure I left one end of the other since each metal plate. None of them much. So in the end. Let's assume escape via the third floor is impossible as we feared. I see. Correct. Kyoko. There's a rather remarkable physics level on the third floor. In the middle of the room, there's a machine bigger than anything I've ever seen. Oh yeah, apparently it's a pair of fire. Huh? Well, I wasn't like that to me. Mm -hmm. Is that device really that big? Mm -hmm. I really don't get it. Oh. Oh. Mm. 
There's an arm on the third floor. And all kinds of, no, there's an arm on the third floor. And all kinds of gear. <laughs> Man, and I'll be able to recreate all my favorite anime characters. <laughs> Speaking of anime, that reminds me of nothing while I was looking around. Perhaps. A digital camera? This is seems like. Hmm. Does it still work? Yeah, it seems fine. You know? Oh, well then, let's see it. What the heck? What the hell? What the heck? I didn't even mean to say what the hell. What the heck is wrong with me? This thing is like a kid's toy. I think I can store like five pictures maybe. It's kind of fine lines. Well, on top of that, it's a pair of scenes questionable. Is this some kind of anime character? Strange. You know nothing! Rude. She's not strange. Princess Pickles from Queen and Angel pretty fudgy princess. Oh, you recognize this from me? <laughs> of course I recognize it. It's a super rare prize of giving a single princess in a big anime convention. Do you have any idea how much I could pay that guy to get my hands on it? Yeah! Wait, that's my camera! What? Damnation! And where did you find it? In the face of something. <laughs> it's my first, it's my most prized possession. I brought it here with me, but I lost it the first day, along with my phone. Let's see. Why would I have a leap here in the physics lab? However... Ah, uh, but look at it. Why did you go on my stuff? Like when someone steals a sticker from your collection when you buy a second-hand shirt. Well, that's it. Huh? That's it? <sighs> Not mint condition. This is unforgivable! I don't need it anymore. Were well, you just saying how much I meant to you? <laughs> well, may I have it? I'd be able to find some use or use for it. If anyone like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. Hmm. I can't remember that. I just need to take any pictures or whatever. True. So, um... I'm always going to publish my speech and I didn't make this could it be? They're not being a drunk at the end of the scout, did it? Mm. What does that even mean? What's wrong? Right? It reminds me of the nurse socks. Remember the one in the court store, right? Well, I remember it was locked. Yeah! Actually, not anymore. So then. Can you find a protein in there? You can buy them yourself and take your time. I did, but, but no dice. Just a bunch of headache medicine over the counter stuff. I see. That's disappointing. Aww. It is disappointing. Like the end of the world is already here. Um, I'm not sure it's that disappointing. Oh, Celeste is back there. I didn't even see her. <laughs> there is one piece of good news. There's happened to be a record of the third floor. I have no doubt that I should have my trip and walk more enjoy it with the <laughs> Is someone driving a table with flowers in there? Okay, for what else is to say? And now it's my turn. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys something. I found something that's kind of bothering me. What? What is it? I found this weird picture in the hospital. I found a lot of things. Huh? A weird picture? You mean like dirty? No, no, not that kind of thing. It was a picture of Leon, Mondo, and Jahir all together. Why? Those three? The three of them were laughing. Oh. Um... Show the three of them together laughing? Look at it if we take it. And there's more. In the picture, there weren't metal sheets covered in windows. Well, then. And the picture wasn't taken here? Let's see. But I don't recall hearing anyone, and no one should have coming to the school. Wow. Well, I just imagine it. A lot of cool and cast a spell on it. No, I saw it. I'm telling you. Hmm. It wasn't taken for a document after we got it. How about that? I thought they're all still alive. They left the school when I took that picture. Is that right? That's impossible. After all, we saw it with our very own eyes. They're all dead. Either murdered or executed. They're not the only ones. Matakuma killed Junko and then theirs. Sayaka. That wasn't an illusion. It was real. I'm sure of it. They all died. There's no way any of them are still alive. It seems bigger when that picture was taken. <sighs> Monica would most likely forged it. I can't imagine any other possibility. Forge? Is there all there is to it? <sighs> Stay focused, man. Don't let Monokuma's stuff sidetrack you. <laughs> He's right, but more importantly. <laughs> another topic. There's something that's been bothering me. I'd like to discuss that. <laughs> there is also something that's been bothering me. Which I would like to discuss. <laughs> it's bothering us, Celeste. Actually. It's about Hina. Huh? What, me? <laughs> you said your stomach hurt, did you not? But I believe that was a lie. What really happens? Huh? <sighs> it varies from person to person, but whenever someone lies, they tend to have a way of showing it. It's called a tell. Something that you can't hide, no matter how hard you try. Is that okay? Whenever Hina lies, as if her nose just gets a little bit longer. Huh? What? For real? <laughs> Actually, no. Huh? Oh! But your reaction just now confirmed it. You were lying. Oh! That's no fair! <laughs> if you're going to lie, at least try to lie convincingly. Hina. Be honest, were you lying about your stomach ache? Mm. Sorry. Tired. Yes. 
I see. Why? Why would you lie about that? That's it! I'm sure of it! Are you feeling guilty about something? Just a second! No, it's not it at all. But... Does that mean I have a reason for it? A reason? Sorry. To be honest, I don't have something. I get it, guys. Okay, I'm here to tell you the truth. I thought you were in <laughs> The truth? Well... I saw it. It. Saw what? A ghost? Ghost? You mean like that ghost? Hey. Is there more than one ghost? But I mean, ghosts are. What the heck? See, I told you you wouldn't believe me. It's not that I don't believe you, but. Hina. I believe you. No matter what anyone else might say, I will believe you. Whatever you say, no matter what. So can you tell us exactly what happened? You really mean that, Sakura? Then okay, I'll tell you. So, um. So what happened last night? I was in bed, but I couldn't get to sleep. I just kept thinking about anything that's happened. Honestly. You ignore the girl regarding me. Sorry. I know, sorry. I feel really bad about it. Anyway, please continue. But. Well, so I left my rubber head for the warehouse. But then I start hearing a strange sound. Well. It was coming from the direction of the bathhouse. So I headed that way. The locker was halfway open, so I took a look inside. And I saw a human shape surrounded by a pale green light. There's no doubt you'll be. Who did you hear of? Say what? No! Oh no! Ghost! Honestly. It's simply not possible. You must be mistaken. That's the most cases I've heard. I mean, I've done it. It's born from a deep in mistake. Well, then. We have to just go see for ourselves, right? Just go to the bathhouse and see what we saw. saw. It's a waste of time. Dude, there's no time there, right? If we don't find anything, we should be learning. What? What? You're gonna go try and get see ghost? Is that really a good idea? I'm gonna put a curse on you. What the heck? You can wait here if you want. Please! I don't want to be alone. Take me with you. Hey. What are you gonna do, Celeste? There is nothing to I be done. I suppose there's no choice. Mm. How about you, Miss Mishima? Are you gonna wait here? Oh. I got um. something else. Right here, I saw it right here in the dressing room. Uh, um. I'm getting goosebumps. Come on, come yeah, on. Yeah, Shut up, who's the actual show? Hina. Hina, where was it? You saw Chiro's ghost. Well. I heard a sound when I opened the locker. I saw a kind of pale outline of Chiro. Oh. Um, is this the locker? There's something in here. Oh, a laptop. Well, inside the locker is... A laptop? What's something like that doing Hey. I remember seeing this. Oh, that's right. I saw in the library before. Oh, yeah. It looks like a laptop. A laptop looks pretty old. It's all covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. Broken off. Too bad. How the laptop came from the library here? It would seem... I guess it's in sleep mode, but the power is definitely off. Oh, but I thought it was broken. Hmm. But I bet that Chihiro fixed it. After all, he was known as the ultimate programmer. Then perhaps... More importantly, Hina, you said you saw a green light, yes? Really, you didn't have to take the light of the monitor for a ghost? <laughs> I am surprised you're able to dress yourself in the morning. Ah! Uh -huh. Oh man, if I had the loveless clue this girl's attribute, I'd have fallen in love big time just now. I am so glad I don't have it. <laughs> well, I didn't really expect to find a freaking laugh that was at a freaking locker, okay? Hey, come on! Yeah, anyone can make a mistake like that. Hmm. As a matter of fact, one time I thought I spotted a great alien. It turned out to be a tadpole. What are you saying? Don't compare it happened to me with one of just stupid delusions. Don't be mean! I was just trying to make you feel better. What if I get all depressed forever now? Listen, this is really strange. What's this laptop doing here? In other words... Maybe someone hid it in here. But... In that case, he found it pretty easy. Wrong. Did I put it in here? I don't think they were trying to hide it from us. What do you mean? Hey. Have you noticed there's one big difference between this room and all the others? The difference? There's no surveillance camera. Yes, it's me. There's no camera in here, which means that this is the one spot where the mastermind is blind. Hmm. 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 So you're saying something about the laptop use and the mastermind wouldn't know about it? It's true. And what Hina saw was an ordinary glow of the It was a figure of Chihiro. Shining pale green. Hey. I think we've got some risk it's lots of people in the Which just like Yoko said, the display of the 
So then. So first I have to pick it up. Right. I started in random ones of the keys. The display instantly began to glow a pale green. There was a bunch of different icons on the test top. Hey. There, the icon on the far left. What is it? It says Alter Ego. Hmm. Alter Ego literally means another self, I believe. In the field of artificial intelligence, it's not a concrete aspect of personality. Consider it something like a pen name. Makoto. Could you let me see it, Makoto? With that, Kyoko moved between me and the computer. She moved the cursor of the Alter Ego icon. When she double clicked it, the screen suddenly went dark. And then a voice spoke to us. You really came! Master, you're here! Oh boy! Shira's face appeared, taking up the entire display. Oh no! It's a ghost! Oh, that's sweet baby Jesus! Calm down. No, it's not a ghost. What? What? Um. Then what is it? Anyway. I'm sure you just talked to us, find out. So the band had to learn across the keyboard. What are you? And then. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Shira for Kisaki. <laughs> I always get so embarrassed introducing my heart. That voice, that tone, and everything. Mm. It's Shihiro. I knew it. Alter Ego. I've heard about this kind of AI program, but I've never seen one for myself. AI program. That's right. So, Shihiro earned his title of Ultimate Program. The AI lives in a computer. About repeating different tasks, means knowledge of goes with I bet. Apparently, Shihiro used to support vector machine and reinforcement learning to develop it. Eventually, he became one of the first three artificial intelligence design. Support vector machine, reinforcement learning. It's true. To put it simply, it's a learning method for computers. Um, if you want to know more? That's it. I'm sure of just it. Just Google it, okay? In other words, then the AI continues to grow and become more than just a piece of software. Some say that an AI like this might somehow get replaced. Hmm. That's why it's called alter ego. I find choice then, I must say. It can create memories, have thoughts, and grow up. Process is much different than human. <laughs> If you had to raise your own AI that way, it would make sense for Furry to be able to eat it. I see. A second, perfect personality you can never forget or go over it. That's what you're here to create. That's Alter Ego. Yoko, how do you know so much about this? Are you okay with Anyways, this? Anyways, so we fixed the broken laptop to put its own program out there. That is what this means, yes? We brought the machine to the dressing room, but the master will not be able to see it. He <laughs> knows all this master and whatnot. Yes, yes. <laughs> I believe I'm on fire. Gosh dang it, he threw me. Not now. Huh? I thought you were only duty. Da -da 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 -da! This is the most excellent duty possible. Huh? He's a guy, and also a computer program. I feel oh, as if... Oh, that aspect is no problem. I mean... That aspect? Anyway... Yeah, it's not going to be more. Feel the type of with Master. How much do you know about this for now? Master. On the game in general, I do. Well... I do know things become very great. That is a part of the spot, one. You'll come meet each other another question. Why are you here? That's right. Are you asking what Master had planned for me? Well, you wanted me to analyze a massive number of files stored in this laptop. Oh. I believe the files only went to the school and were packed on them surprisingly strong. It was even a little longer than I thought. Master! Here's what Master must have been thinking. The fact that the files are going to be so tight, you can investigate the important secret. For example, perhaps, the secret of this school. Oh, it's basically struggling to make a sound. Kyoko pushed forward and asked me next question. I'm just rolling and holding some nuts. That's well. Um, it's gonna be a while. Leave it to me. What is it gonna do? It's a beast. Leave it to me. I see. That's how long it would take. It's signed to alter people in another workload. <laughs> Smart. It also means to work around to end up uninterrupted even after his death. Once again, Kyoko tired to print Keep it up. Be careful for those that watch him right That's well. Don't worry, I got a secret plan already. Actually, I can see what's going on with my built-in webcam. So if anyone's suspicious shows up, I'll just scream for help real loud. It's a pretty basic plan, I have to say. Yes, indeed. But it's fine during the day, but nighttime is a concern. Huh? Why? Are you okay with this? Have you forgotten? All our rooms are completely soundproof. Once you close our doors, you can scream as loud as you want. We won't hear a thing. Okay, then we'll ask the sniper when she turns right in the dressing room. However... There's a good chance the master will notice us going all in and out of dressing room like that. Then what can we do? So then, once I can console the door to my room open, there's no way I can miss all the people yet. But, but if you need your door open all night, then it's true. There's a chance maybe I'm a victim myself. I know. However, but I'm not as weak as you may think. I want to go down without a fight. I assure you. There's an undeniable strength in your voice when you said that. You told the confident to be a threat. The confidence to make someone to be after his time, but at the same time different. 
Yeah, I'm tired of the field, for sure. I've sort of been dropped down to a lot of girls, but she's done with a lot of girls. I feel like that was the final match for the first time. I was the first time I imaged laptop. So, um... Um, would you mind if I ask a few questions? Um... I haven't seen Master for a while, when you got here, I thought it was him, but... Is Master? For a split second, Kyoko seemed to not know what to do. She recovered just as fast and quickly began typing. Her answer was clear, concise, and direct. Shihiro is dead. Mondo killed him. Okay, then. I see. To be honest, I knew all along. I knew the chance that Master survived the situation were very low. So I was prepared for this moment. <laughs> it's like... Somehow I feel kind of sorry for her. Um... I can't imagine I was going to lose her other self. <laughs> it is a simple computer program. It does not have feelings. What? Are you sure about that? Shall we go? Yeah, okay, that's enough for today. If you think here too long, last round, try to suspect something. I joke with that one last sentence. I'll come back later. Uh. Yes, please do. It's a promise, okay? Bye bye. I guess he felt different when he first arrived. It seemed upbeat. Because he was following his programming? Or he actually been worried about us? Could it be? Um, What's wrong, Mira? You know? Oh, nothing. I should let my girl get locked up on time. You could call from hell from the outside. Hmm. This is just a dressing room. I don't think you can get a line from here. Well? Or we just take it out of here and find somewhere that does have online access. Hey! That's way too dangerous. The last one find it out in no time. Uh, um. Oh, yeah, true. Indeed. This is no time to take a moment of stress. For now, I'm going to go to the file on this. I'm confident I'll put in some kind of clue once it's finished. Hmm. This feels like a detail more than anything else, but I suppose it can't be helped. Of course. Well, for all I can do is wait, I'll throw you go to the conscious room. You know? So we should get going? It's true. Indeed. <laughs> Goodbye. We'll be back, I promise. Uh, Come on, you feel me, let's go. I suppose. Okay. We all left the dressing room. So you're in the hall, you know that I'll drive for shot. Okay, that's where we're ending it for today's episode. If you guys want to see more of this series right away, please let me know in the comments below and I will get to it as soon as I can. Anyway, thank you guys for the last for the support you showed me over the last couple days. And um well, that's all I really gotta say. Well, bye guys.